Hey there, friends. Um, I don't. I'm sitting here and I'm debating whether or not to do a movie review on this one. And honestly, I really can't do a review on the movie itself because I didn't get to watch the movie itself. Well, I did for a few minutes, but it was wow. Okay, so. I, I grabbed it because it looked really interesting, and um, and then after I started watching it, I realized it was a screener. Um, this is the Chateau, and um, it's a screener copy, a full length screener film. The quality, okay, so I, I I'm gonna have to go buy this. Um, this is ridiculous i don't if i had to sit and screen films to watch films um because that's what, what screeners were there was two two kinds of screeners one kind of screener or one kind of, there was a screener that you would give to a movie theater they would watch it and see if they liked it and have to put it in their theater and then there was the other one for the video rental market which is what this i'm sure is where they get the film and then they watch it decide, to decide if they want to be able to buy enough of them to be able to rent them out. And the video quality of this is crud. So what this is, when you, you get into it, it looks like a really cheap VHS camcorder in a movie theater. Um, it's moving around and it's wobbly. The picture quality is trash. Um, there's background noise, like somebody's walking in the room and sitting down and you can hear kind of like squeaking and stuff in the background that is not part of the film at all. Um, I own screener copies. I have, I probably have about a hundred of them, maybe, maybe less than that in my collection. And most of the screener copies I have are mo they're just the movie. It's just the basically the artwork is different, but the movie is a, is a screener copy. Uh, a lot of them don't even say that on the title of screener copies. This does. Um, it says it's a screener copy every two or three minutes. Um, it's got the number a number calculator thing up in the you know up here in the top corner. <clears throat> I mean, this is just impossible to sit and watch. It just irritated the living days daylights out of me. However, I saw enough of it that I really am kind of curious to see the film itself. So, I'm going to set this one aside. It's already in my collection, um, but I'm going to set it aside to replace it. And I'm going to replace it with a new copy so I can actually watch the thing. Um, but it's got Paul Rudd in it, uh, Romeo Malco, and Sel Selvi Tes Tested, I think is how you say the name. They own the house, but who rules the roost? So basically what this movie is about is um, they get in a house, that's, they're a big, huge mansion that they inherit, um, and then there's a staff that are on, they're on staff, they don't want to lose their jobs. But these guys don't want the house, they want to sell the house, and in order for them to sell the house, well, the staff's pretty much got to go. And the staff is doing anything and everything they possibly can to keep that from happening and it's, it's sad because i want to watch this film i've never actually seen it um, but i've done some research on it i've wa i've read the synapse on the back um i've watched the movie reviews and then probably i tried watching maybe i think it was maybe 15 minutes um of the beginning of the movie it looked awesome i really wanted it but not that one so that one is out i'm gonna go replace it and that's it. All right, you guys. Uh, quick little ish one today. Oh, sorry, it's not not really a review. I can't tell you whether or not it's worth it or anything, or if it's a good one or not. It just sounds really interesting. All right. With that being said, you guys, I'll see y'all really, really soon. So, bye for now.